welcome to a new video. Um, I got um, a bag for you today, obviously, and um, today I want to talk about the Osprey uh, Extra Large Day Pack. It's from their Arcane series, which is um, recycled material that they use. I think it's PET bottles, I'm not sure. The fabric feels nice, it feels smooth. So um, yeah, this is the newest addition to the family. They have a small version, which I don't have. Then they have a large version and now this extra large version. So this is the large version. I made a video about this uh, some time ago. And um, yeah, let's compare them slightly because you can see in height, they are the same, but um, in depth, you can see the difference. Uh, the large day pack is not as deep as the extra large. And uh, that's a big plus for the extra large, in my opinion. Let's put this one to the side for now and focus on the extra large. It is basically the same as, re as the large day pack, but with some slight differences. Let's go around the back and then look on the inside. We have just a little branding. Um, this is not a typical Osprey bag because usually the Osprey bags are have straps all over and big, um, I don't know, logos and stuff like everywhere. This is toned down a lot and I really like it um, because I can wear this to my office without like being uh, a walking advertisement for Osprey. Um, we have some different compartments that um, I will look a little later at. Let's have a look at the back. It has the same material as the large one and the small one. It's some sort of foam, foamy material, which feels really good on your back. And it has those uh, ripples here. They feel good. The back is comfy. It doesn't have air channels, so you might get sweaty depending on how long you wear this bag. Um, but I never really had um, a problem with that. Down here, you can unhook this and put it around the chair to secure it a little bit. And um, on this side, we have the hidden water bottle compartment, which is, it's okay. It's not the best. It's quite stretchy. so. If you really want to, you can manage to put a one liter bottle in there, but quite comfy is like a 0.7 liter bottle. Um, if I use bigger bottles, I put them inside the bag because I don't know, don't feel comfy with that. Let's have a look at all the zippers. So this one is your first. Like many other bags, this is a laptop compartment. One thing I don't like is it goes all the way to the bottom. So if you have a laptop in here, it sits at the bottom of the bag and if you put the bag down hard on the floor, maybe not the best idea. It does have some foam on the bottom to counter that, but um, I would have liked it better if it was like stuck here and you have some, some uh, protection. So I have a 13 inch uh, laptop in here. Um, I would say comfortably it fits at least a 17 inch um, laptop, um, but uh, I don't have one so I can't really uh, try that out, but it fits quite comfortable. So let's pull this out, place it here, that's the laptop compartment. Let's go to the front. There's one compartment here at the front, which has quite some dimension to it. You can see here, you can put all kinds of stuff in here. I think I don't, I only have some, some uh, disinfectant wipes in here and nothing else. But as you can see, um, you can put all kinds of stuff in here, small, small stuff. If you're brave, you can put your wallet in there and stuff like that. The zipper is hidden underneath this flap here. Um, then we have two compartments, one, one in the front and the main compartment, the one in the front here. 
has a normal zipper that goes like one third of the back. And um, as you can see, the colors are the same as the outside. So there's no contrast um, with a brighter color on the inside, which might be like a no-go for some because it's really dark. If, you, if, if you're looking for something on the bottom of the back, it might be too dark for you. Anyway, we have um, two smaller compartments here for a pen and maybe like a pocket knife and one bigger compartment here, no dimension, but mesh material uh, to put stuff in here that goes a lot, like about well, 15 centimeters deep. And um, as you can see, this is my daily essential stack. It's a High Planet Sling Pocket XL. Um, the, the front compartment has quite some dimension to it. So you can put all kinds of stuff in here. And um, I like to um, yeah, put my daily essentials in another bag. I put a bag in the bag um, because then I know where it is. And if I want to use a different bag, I can simply swap smaller uh, bags out. That's it for this compartment. Let's close it up. And let's get to the main compartment. The main compartment is also hidden underneath a flap it, it's okay I don't hate it I think it looks stylish um, and I have no problems with uh, the zipper pull and this is um, one that ends here like at about one third of the back and you can pull it down all the way to here which makes getting into the back quite easy because you can open it up like almost all the way if you want to. As you can see I have my jacket in here and um, that's the inside of the bag. Once again it's the same color. This is my tech pouch. It's from Pick Design. If you are looking for a tech pouch get this one. It's really well made and um, it has this uh, nice little yeah, organization thing in there. Okay, the main compartment is really roomy as you can see there's another um, compartment here which fits um, a tablet for example this is an iPad Pro 11 inch model with the magic keyboard attached and as you can see it fits quite well I think it would fit the 12.9 inch uh, uh, iPad as well okay um, that's about it. That's all that I carry around all the time. Um, the bag is very lightweight for what it does. Um, it's durable. It feels good. It feels nice. It looks stylish. They come in a um, few different colors. Um, I think it's um, reddish, blue and um, black and this olive green color but um, sometimes they add colors, sometimes they take some away. So you have to look on their website to find out. Um, that being said, the large one, last time I looked on their website, was on discount for, um, I think about 50 bucks. And if you can get it for this price, then go for it. Not all colorways, but some are on discount, it seems. I'm not sure if it's uh, still that way. It, the large one is great, but um, I really do prefer the Excel version because it just has this little bit more space that can be really useful. Like for instance, if uh, today it was cold when I got to work, so I wore a jacket. And then when I came back, it was warm, so I put the jacket inside of here or if I want to go like do some quick grocery shopping after work it will fit inside here no problem. I did sometimes have a little bit of space problem with the large one because it looks really sleek um, but um, the depth is as you can see not as good as this one so um, this one served me well. I used it for the last three weeks and um, yeah Give it a try. It's worth every penny, like almost all Osprey products. I never had a problem with them. 
Um, I never had a super fail on me. Um, so my recommendation is if you're looking for a day pack, consider this one. It's relatively cheap for what it does and what it is. Um, and it's very well made. And it looks really stylish as I think. Um, at the end of the video, I will show you how it looks on my back. I'm a tall, big guy, so um, I'm about six foot four, I think, in uh, freedom units, and uh, one meter ninety-one in uh, uh, the non-freedom units. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> That's it for today. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you in the next video.